Before 2020, the additive manufacturing industry experienced strong growth, averaging 27.4% year over year. But then the COVID-19 pandemic hit the world and global supply chains came to a standstill, making it difficult to meet production quotas. Manufacturing companies began to leverage the power of 3D printers to produce face shields, masks, nasal swabs, and ventilator parts. Artificial intelligence and machine learning also attracted mass attention, due in part that the engineering workforce has gone digital. But how are artificial intelligence and machine learning key to additive manufacturing's future growth? What value can AI bring to the additive manufacturing supply chain, material development, machine perfection, part design, and workflow optimization? Find out now in Mechanical Engineering Magazine's Special Report. According to Wohler's Report 2021, the additive manufacturing industry grew despite the COVID-19 pandemic, expanding by 7.5%, nearly $12.8 billion in 2020. While the equipment sales saw a decline, the manufacturing of 3D printed parts rose dramatically to battle the pandemic and overcome supply chain disruption. The recent Additive Manufacturing Trend Report 2021 from 3D Hubs determined a 34% increase in engineering firms using 3D printing to produce functional end-use parts in 2020 compared to 2019. According to the report, the largest increase was seen in biotechnology, transportation, and automotive. GE has invested over $3 billion in additive manufacturing processes and uses it in many of its products, including jet engines, medical devices, and home appliance parts. The company's GENX jet engine was manufactured using an advanced technique called direct metal laser melting. Boeing's Dreamliner 787 is the first commercial aircraft to fly using parts made with 3D printing technology resulting in around two to $3 million savings per plane. 3D printing has become invaluable for manufacturers when producing on-demand spare parts, resulting in less operational downtime and significant cost savings. In February 2020, Etihad Airlines formed a partnership with the German mechanical engineering firm Big Rep to install their Edge 3D printer at its facility in Abu Dhabi. This made it possible to print both flying and non-flying parts on demand. 3D printing is shifting the manufacturing of expensive medical equipment to a lower cost point and with higher precision in the medical field. For example, the Open Hand project used AM technology to produce prosthetic hands for just 1,000 US dollars, with the price of the units otherwise going up to 100,000 US dollars. During the COVID-19 pandemic, HP partnered with the printing company Reddington 3D to produce 120,000 ventilator parts for medical equipment supplier Agva Healthcare in India. The partnership used AM processes to create ventilator parts such as inhale and exhale connectors, valve holders, oxygen nozzles, and solenoid mounts in just over three weeks, a process that typically requires four to five months. If we, if we say we want to reach uh, into a level where machining, uh, CNC machining is today, I guess uh, to reach the full potential of the technology, uh, I could imagine it will take at least uh, a decade, uh, maybe maybe two. I think there's still a lot of potential. We are still in early, uh, early stages, even though the technology exists for, for more than two decades. Well, if we talk again about part of that uh, fusion, um, there's a lot of room for potential in my point of view. The cost of industrial machines for AM continues to be a challenge for even the largest of engineering companies. The average price for AM machines that produce metal parts ranges between $100,000 to $5 million. Material prices are also hampering AM adoption for high-volume production. 
Material costs can be 10 to 100 times more than a similar material for conventional manufacturing. While the scaling up of AM production has helped reduce material costs, it may take years for it to be on par with traditional manufacturing material. As new materials continue to become commercially available, the price of upscaling AM production will decline. Another hurdle is the evolution of 3D printing software. As 3D printing production started to mature, the gap between hardware and software became more apparent. Software is crucial in connecting all the steps throughout the AM process, from online ordering, part design, build preparation, production planning, and delivery. 2020 saw an increase in digital engineering as many were forced to work remotely. As a result, companies realized the investment needed in IoT and Industry 4.0 solutions. Many of the current AM software processes are inefficient and create production gaps. For both material costs and software processes, artificial intelligence can be a solution. One of the most um, valuable positions or perspectives that I embrace is that um, AI technology is not confined by humans, but it really has the pot greater potential than humans or than biology to accomplish goals and to advance either uh, industrial applications, uh, healthcare applications, or material science opportunities, and, and be able to predict our world to do things or to understand things better, faster, and more concretely than we have before. So you have things that humans can do, but not as fast or proficient or accurately. And so using the tools that humans have made, including AI, in a way that's exponentially beneficial to return value and to accomplish goals that speed up, in my world, uh, healthcare and the treatment of humans. Generative design. The ability for computer-aided design programs to produce parts autonomously and organically has already seen increased adoption among part manufacturers. AI and machine learning can accelerate generative design and AM by designing parts free of traditional manufacturing restrictions. When I think about AI, I think about machines improving their outcomes by analyzing real world data much faster than humans could ever be able to, to do, to achieve. And so those machines could be 3D bioprinters as well. And by leveraging the power of AI and ensuring that we can gather that data from 3D bioprinting, we can achieve those results of 3D bioprinting much faster than through uh, human iterations on, on the printer itself. AI can provide inspection benefits for AM systems in the hardware space to ensure greater process control and repeatability. AI can use pattern recognition to form best practices for error handling. AI-driven hardware can spot defects in part production and report it to the cloud. Workers on the line immediately pull the defective units before reaching final assembly, saving time and money in recalls and repairs. For example, Inkbit, an AM company based out of Massachusetts, is designing an AI-based vision system integrated into a polymer system to scan each of the 3D printing layers and predict material behavior during the print process. All in all, the use of artificial intelligence in additive manufacturing can cut the production time of 3D printed parts from 30 minutes to mere seconds per individual job. AI can increase printer utilization, optimize the material selection, reproduce production errors, and catch production defects along the way. Additive manufacturing today requires a high degree of specialized knowledge and highly trained engineers to be executed correctly. AI can help engineers ensure the rules of 3D printing are followed and help produce large amounts of data along the production process. By providing automated assistance, additive manufacturing enhanced by AI can be the manufacturing solution of the future.